What's going on guys, Nick here from Metalogic, and today we're gonna to go through how to exclude internal traffic from Google Analytics. This way you won't have any false data in terms of users, event counts, conversions, etc. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead and go into our settings here. And within our admin settings, we're going to go to data streams. We're going to then select our data stream. And on the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and click configure tag settings. So in configure tag settings, under settings, you want to click the drop down show more. You want to click define internal traffic. And then here we can create our internal traffic rule. So let's go ahead and create one. So rule name, we're going to do internal traffic and we'll do Nick, so that way my data is not showing up. So under IP addresses, let's go ahead and go and click IP address equals, and to find your IP address, it's pretty simple. You can just go ahead and go into Google and do what is my IP address, and it'll pop up right here. Um, if it doesn't for you, it's kind of pop up right here. You can actually use this website, what is my IP address, and get it from here. So let's go ahead, copy my IP address, go back into analytics, click or paste it here in my value and press create. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and go all the way back into our admin settings. So we're back here in admin, we're going to go down into data settings, data filters, internal traffic, so you should say testing, you want it to be active. Save, activate filter, and then that's it. So. Thank you for joining me on this quick video. My name is Nick again from Metalogic Design. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys.